guys, what's up? It's Savannah. So I'm going to make a makeup tutorial today for... So I'm going to make a makeup tutorial today. Uh, yeah, it's like gory and bloody and gross. I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to do it right now. So I'll insert some pictures, what it looks like. So if you want to learn how to do that, keep watching. It's really fun, really easy. I do it all the time. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Bye. Hey guys, so I'm going to teach you how to do a ripped knuckles kind of look. Put here. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Let me show you some things that you're going to need. Some liquid latex or something like that. I got mine at Party City for like $9. Some scab blood. This is by Ben Nye. Or you can use normal blood. For the longest time, I use normal blood. Um, I can make a tutorial on how to make fake blood if you want that. Uh, but yeah, this is scab blood. Need some kind of tool or spatula. I just got these off of a, off of a website. Uh, they're really cheap. But they're really nice quality. So I'll try to link them below if I can find them. You need some kind of pigment or paint. This is just the Morphe for 35B palette. That'll work fine. Um, yeah. I'm probably also going to use some other palettes. I'll tell you what they are. I don't really have like nice paints, so you're going to need some brushes of different sizes and things um, for painting or coloring. Might need some scissors, some really small scissors. I use these for effects and I also use them to cut my hair sometimes, so yeah. And then you're also going to need something to put the latex in and kind of be messy on. I have some paper towel down and I have a paper plate and a paper cup, so yeah. First, you're going to want to pour some latex somewhere, just a little bit. And now you would just want to put it on your knuckles. You can do this with your other hand or anything. Just kind of pat it on there. Um, I only do my four finger knuckles. I don't do my thumb. Um, but you can if you want to. Don't make it too thick. Um, because you're going to wait for them to dry. We're going to do multiple layers. Um, so... The thicker that it is, the longer it'll take to dry. Just a, just a tip. Alright, now we're going to wait for it to dry. You can kind of bend your fingers while it's drying so that you can still bend them while it's actually dry. And now we wait. You know that it's drying because it's starting to turn clear, so do you see that it's starting to turn clear on that finger. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Once it starts to turn clear, then put another layer on. Try not to let your fingers touch while they're drying or else the sides of them will kind of come up and they won't blend into your skin as well. And then they don't look as real. <laughs> You'll want to do uh, two, three, four layers, three to four layers, probably, um, because we're just going to pick at it, and skin has layers, I think, so it just looks more real when you do different layers and pick at them differently, yeah. Alright, so once all of your layers are pretty much dry, you're going to cover them in a powder or color that's pretty similar to your skin tone first. Or you can cover them with foundation or something. I don't really think that's necessary though. You want to make sure that it's fully dry or else it will ruin your brushes and you don't want that. I'm doing it on my right hand today. I don't know why, but I usually do it on my left hand because I'm right handed. Okay, so now we're just going to pick at it a little bit. 
So you want to just kind of pick the middle part open a little bit so that it looks like they're kind of scraped open. Be careful with this, especially if you're using something sharp because you don't want to actually cut your knuckles. Please be careful. <laughs> Okay, so now that you have all of your little skin pieces opened, now we want to color them. So first I'm going to go in with this palette. It's the Morphe The Little Palette in Coffee Toffee, and it just has some reds in it. We don't want to use the sparkly ones, obviously. <laughs> so I'm just going to go in with some of these colors, and then some of the pinks and reds in the Morphe 35B palette to kind of bruise it a little bit. I've learned if you're using eyeshadows is to wet your brush a little bit and then dry it a little bit and then the color comes off a lot better. So now that your cuts are looking real juicy and bloody, <laughs> where it's time for some scab blood or any blood that you have. You want to just kind of put it inside the little cuts that we made. You can put it under the latex flaps if you want. I usually do that. Just kind of put it wherever you think you would want it, wherever it, you think it would be if you actually did this to yourself. <laughs> Alright, so now that you're all bloody, I'm pretty much done. Blood kind of completes any SFX look, I think. So now you want to be careful to not touch anything. <laughs> Don't get it on anything. It doesn't really dry down unless you're using blood that dries down. I think it looks really cool and it's pretty, it's really easy to do and it doesn't take very long. So yeah, try this out and maybe you find something you really like to do. Bye. She's a big girl.